I wrote this poem when we'd found out that they had found Uyinene Mkweta's body. And I think I left, I left the office early that day and went back home in tears. And I was just tired. I was just tired of, you know, every day, every other day, every week, there's a headline of a woman being killed by a man. So I don't know if it's inspiration. It's my spirit and my soul were just tired of it. So now when Sekhofatso Pule was found hanging on a tree, it, it brought back those the, that feeling that I felt when Uinena passed away. And I happened to go through my notebook and I found this poem that I'd written during that time and found that it still applied so many months later. And it, it broke my heart. Um, it, it's still, yeah, just thinking about it still breaks my heart. We should not have to live like we're living as women in South Africa. We're being hunted by strangers, by our families, by people we claim to, by people we love and those who claim to love us. You just never know when you'll find yourself in a situation where you could die because that's where we're at. It's, it's a matter of life and death. So that's how the poem came about. It's, it's, I just got tired of this thing happening over and over again and again and again and it just makes headline news and nothing ever happens after that. Women are tired. Um, we are tired of being beaten up and killed and raped every day by men. And for a change, um, to change the, the, the narrative and not show women being beaten up, women with bruises, but rather show the perpetrators, show that these, are, these people, these men, are men, are men that live amongst us. These people are not monsters, these are people that live with us on a daily basis. I think it's very important to tell this story because there's a pressing issue of women's lives being in danger at the hands of us men. And there's also an important part of um, trying to dismantle this uh, issue uh, by speaking through men and showing men accounting because unfortunately men listen to other men you know and we are the problem and women have nothing to do with it and we have to take it to our own hands and deal with this issue because it's our issue and women have nothing to do with it they're just suffering Ready? Steph sent me the poem um, she forwarded me the poem and she said just to share um, and it was about eight o'clock at night and it wasn't a really something that you just share at night you just share a joke but you don't really share that poem and we spent an hour talking after she sent that and it was a very uh, obviously a very powerful poem just to read even uh, as opposed to hearing it but it resonated a lot with me because of my upbringing I went through that so it was a uh, something that we had to make obviously and something that we um, wanted to, um, we, we, we want to do something um, in, in, in the country and we're hoping that it does do something. We live in very extraordinary times. Um, I suspect that uh, we, you know, this is a new world, it feels like a new world to me and it feels like there needs to be a concerted effort from people who can, especially creatively, to start you know, um, engaging with these issues. The issue of, of femicide in South Africa, as is, is, is the president mentioned the other day, it is a tragedy. I mean, it is, it is the, another epidemic, if not a bigger one, that we're currently dealing with. And it feels like as, 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 as men in South Africa, as creatives, as men, uh, the silence needs to come to an end. We need to take a stand and start protecting our women. It's that, you know, it's that saying, this is, this is, this is, um, this is not cool. Um, and what I particularly love about the, about the message of this ad is that it is not the, uh, the facts on the streets, it is not the gangster looking dudes who are from prison who are killing the women, killing our women. It is, it is, it is, all, it is my uncle, it is my dad, it is my brother, it is my friend, it is people that we know, people that we live with every day. Uh, and, 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 and that's what I really, really, I thought message wise this really resonates. I always kind of held that opinion that you know we are very quick to judge when is the person that we really know, don't know as a person that's far away we, we, we 
very quick to make a comment, but when it hits home, when it's the brother, when it's your uncle, suddenly we are silent. And to turn that on his head and starting to address it kind of really feels very powerful for me. And, and what Stephanie has done, what she's written, and this little beautiful piece that she's directing is really, really for me. Uh, it's probably one of the uh, message-wise in terms, in terms of the message, in terms of what it's trying to do, is probably one of the most powerful pieces we've done as a company. Again, I don't want another street protest again. I don't want to wear a duck again. Hell, I don't want to wear black again. I don't want to watch my back when I'm walking in the street again. I don't want to defend myself in my house again. I don't want to sit like a girl. I don't want to cover up my thighs. I don't want to mince my words again. I don't want to wince every time you lift your hand again. I don't want to scream, no, as you thrust your manhood in forcefully again. And I really don't want to die.